Now to new developments in Boulder where police stop someone who is threatening all kinds of violence. In the last few hours, we have learned much more about the suspect Matthew Harris and just how dangerous the situation was. Started when the man made threats against UCLA in California. That was yesterday. They called Boulder last night, warning them the suspect was in Boulder. Boulder and the FBI tracked down Harris. At 7.52 a.m., they sent a SWAT team to his apartment. To keep people safe, police moved kids and adults out of University Hill Elementary School. And then at 11.07 this morning, they got their suspect. He is now in federal custody. Tori Mason following up on the story for us tonight. And Tori, the suspect had an 800-page document filled with violent ramblings, and you got the chance to review some of this. Well, Karen, I spent a few hours combing through it, and it was disturbing, to say the least. His writing was erratic, but law enforcement took his threat seriously. Their coordinated efforts got him in custody soon after it was delivered. Today was a scary day for the people of Boulder. Officials fear it could have been worse if not for the teamwork of several agencies. Matthew Harris was detained by Boulder police just one day after emailing threats to former co-workers at UCLA. This is 800 pages we're going through. Um, the level of violence that we saw in the manifesto was obviously so alarming. CBS4 obtained the document, which makes several references to Colorado. On one page, Harris writes, make Columbine and 9-11 look like dress rehearsals. We identified thousands of references to violence, stating things such as killing, death, murder, shootings, bombs, schoolyard massacre, and Boulder. It includes threats like burn and attack Boulder outside by the university and kill the fathers of Boulder high schools. In November, Harris attempted to buy a gun in Jefferson County, but was denied. Police say they've made contact with him before, but didn't explain why. There was no criminal charges uh, or, or anything criminal related at that time. Despite his violent writings, Harris was brought in without incident, ending the possible danger to two communities and two states. The incident today is yet another reminder of the ongoing need for strong relationships with our federal law enforcement partners to protect the Boulder community. I also watched YouTube videos Harris posted where he talks about mass shootings. We just learned he's being transferred to federal custody as charges are now pending. All right, Tori, thanks. Now to Douglas County, the school.